Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars players. Yes, today I have pieces of good news for you in this update. Andre, the day Rami Morgan are you, Mopal, the captain for the Black Stars team. I have some piece of good news from his camp for you in this update. Mohamed Kudus, yes, another fantastic one for his camp. We will speak a little about him. Gideon Mensah, Elisha Ousu, we will speak about all these players. Then one fantastic young chap who is a center back and he's doing so well in Switzerland. We also speak a little about him because he's also playing and he's doing so well for himself together with some other latest updates coming in from Ghana under 17 and all in this particular update for you. This is weekend and Blasters players will be playing. Today we have Mohamed Kudus who will play against Luton Town. We are expecting at least a goal or an assist from Kudus because um, this is their last home game and they have to perform well in front of their fans. We also speak about some other players. Semenya will also be playing for AFC Bournemouth and some other ones in this update. Before then, if you have joined us, take your time and like the video for me as you do always after liking. If you are new, subscribe to this channel, put us on post notifications so that anytime we drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. After watching the video, share the link for others to also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel. Also try and give shout out to all those who commented under the last video I posted on this channel. In fact, I had over 70 comments. I'll do justice to that and give shout out to all of you guys. I thank you so much for always sticking with me and coming for the latest updates on this channel. Now, let me begin from here. Yes, yesterday I brought you an update that um, Antoine Salom Semenyo is up for a player of the season for the supporters side in AFC Bournemouth, of which I brought you the link to vote for him in that particular comment box. Today, I'm also going to post a link because Andre, the day Rami Morgan are you, that fantastic um, overhead kick that he scored for a side Le Havre in the French League 1 has also been nominated for the seasonal best goal, you know, best goal of the season in the French League 1. And that is an amazing one for the Black Stars captain Mopal. So far this season, he scored five goals for them and he's doing so well since he joined them. To be honest with you, the captain is now in form and we all must go and vote for him. I've already done my own. If you go, he's the first person in there. So you see Andrea, you after voting, then they will give you the message. Merci. Yes, thank you for voting. Everything is going to be intact. So check the comment box. I'll pin it down there. Let's all help the Ghanaian players who have all been nominated for big awards at the end of the season to get it for themselves. In fact, that goal he scored was super. So yes, just go there and vote for Andre Ayu, the captain for the Black Stars team. Now, let me still stay with some pieces of good news. Yes, Mohamed Mohamed Kudus, he is a player for West Ham United. He has also done well. The goal that he scored against SC Freiburg has also won the goal of the season for West Ham United. And that is amazing. In fact, that game, he picked the ball before the midfield, like at his own half. Before entering the midfield, he picked the ball from there, dribbled, dribbled. He took on a lot of players before he finally finished with the weaker foot. That's the right foot. And it was a fantastic goal. Um, unfortunately, we cannot be adding the goal for you because of copyright issues. But I also try and leave the link in the comment box. In case you didn't watch that goal, go and click on it and enjoy that goal from Mamwe Kudus. It was a fantastic solo goal. And Kudus, that goal has been, um, you know, actually won the goal of the season for Western United. And it tells you that Ghana, we don't have bad players have been saying this but just how to manage them and get the best out of them in the black stars team has always been the issue so yes congratulations go to one with kudos for also winning this at west ham united so west ham they've confirmed that and i'm also sharing with you on this channel they are yet to come out with the play of the season when it is also out i'll bring it to you on this channel and that is that now let me move on with some other um pieces of good news then we go to some players performances and some other updates Gideon Mensah and Elisha also, they are also back to the French League when I brought you this update already. But another good news is they've won the French League 2. Yes, um, you know, last season, yes, they were actually relegated to join, um, you know, the French League 2. And they've done well to come back just, um, you know, a season. They went there and they topped the group. They made sure that they also win that particular trophy in the French League 1. And that is a good one for Gideon Mensah and Elisha also. Gideon Mensah is a left back for us. They Elisha also is also a midfielder for the Black Stars team. Gideon Mensa came to post. God did his thing as usual um, at League, um, League 2, then 2023-2024 um, champions. So that is what he also posted. And this season, in fact, he was ranked um, top 10 in um, this particular metrics. One 
assists. He was part of the top 10 key passes. He was part of, part of the top 10 successful dribbles per game. He was part interception per game. He also did great to be in there. Tackles per game and accurate passes per game. All these metrics, um, Gideon Mensah was part of the top 10 in the French League 2. And that is also a good one. Elisha also, yes, he also did well. He started 29 league games for his side, AJ OZ this season. The highest amount of starts. He's had since 2019. So he's, he did fantastically well this season. Yes, helping them to qualify and having 90% successful pass completions this season in the French League 2. 77.8 dribble completion rate for him. The third highest in the League 2. And that is it also for Elisha. So you know he's one player that you know, Otoado really likes using him. So I'm just expecting that Otoado might call him into the Black Stars team again. And that is it. So yes, congratulations going out to Elisha Usu and Gideon Mensah for returning to the French League 1. And we are getting a lot of numbers in the major leagues across the globe. And that is that. Now, let me also move on and speak a little about this one before we go to the other performances and all. You know, Ghana will be hosting the Wafu B tournament from the 15th of this month to the 29th in Ghana here. It's going to happen at the University of Ghana Stadium, Legon. Yes, and Ghana, our first match, we are going to play against Cote d'Ivoire. Yes, they've actually landed in Ghana here. And, um, you know, the boys, everything is going on well for them. So it's going to happen on the, um, that is talking of 15th of May, 2024, exactly 4 p.m. That is Ghana versus Cote d'Ivoire in the Legon Sports Complex or the Legon Sports Stadium. I beg your pardon. I'll also be following and bring you updates on this channel. After that, we will play against Benin. That's going to happen on the 21st of May. And that is it. I've already brought you all the fixtures and I'll still be bringing you a lot of updates as the days actually get nearer to this particular tournament. And that is a quick one also in there. Now, let me speak about some few player performances because we have already entered into the weekend. It began from yesterday. Yesterday, we had OGC needs. They welcome Le Havre in the French League 1 and Le Havre. And we are used to things are not really going on well for them in terms of their um, results of late. And if you don't take care, they might be relegated to the League 2. Yesterday, they went away to lose a goal to nil to OGC Needs. The goal was scored by Jeremy Boga, yes, former Chelsea player on the 12th minute. And that was that. One goal to nil for the home side. And Ria, he started and he completed 90 minutes. He was rated 7.3, the second highest for his side. And that is a good one also for the Black Stars captain. He had one shot, which was off target yesterday. He um, attempted three dribblings and Ria, he completed all the three. So it was 100% for him. 29 touches in the game. He also gave 15 accurate passes out of 18 attempts that is some 83 percent for him key pass was one in the game long um boss he attempted one which was accurate ground was andrea he went in for eight and won seven which is amazing then erod was he went in for six where he got only one possession loss were five for andrea you and um he also continued to have um or he was fouled twice one clearance in the game tackles were two and one dribble pass for Andre Ayu, the captain for the Black Stars team. Now, he sadly have they sit 15. So they have, they have to do well, else things might not be good for them this particular season. So that is it also for the Black Stars captain. Now, let me speak about this center back. In fact, I've spoken about him a lot on this channel, I think about twice. But this boy's performance is amazing and Ghanaians, we should never stop focusing on him. His name is Jonas Ajete. Jonas Ajete, he plays for FC Basel in Switzerland. Yesterday, it was Lusani versus Basel, and the game ended goalless. No goal to either side. He started and completed 90 minutes as a centre-back again, and his rating was 7.9. In fact, one of the highest in the game, um, you know, yesterday, and that is also a good one for the Ghanaian centre-back. After playing 90 minutes, he had clearances of 6. Then he also blocked 4 shots. Two interceptions in the game. Touches were 47 for Jonas Ajete. Then he also um, gave 21 accurate passes out of 28 attempts, which is 75%. The centre-back also gave four long balls. Two were successful. Erod was he went in for five and got three right. Possession loss were seven in a game for Jonas. And he did some few other things. So 7.9 rating as a centre-back tells you that he put in a lot of work yesterday to make sure that the game will end goalless in the Swiss Super League game and that is it also for him. So yes, these are some of the few updates that I wanted to share with you 
on this channel. We have a lot of games that will be happening today. As I said, yes, today in the EPO, we have Fulham versus Manchester City at 11.30 a.m. I know by the time this video will drop, maybe that match would have started. Um, then we have Tottenham Hotspur. They also lock horns with um, Burnley. Newcastle will play against Brighton. Brighton, we have Ghanaian player in there. Tarek Lamptey, I don't think he's going to play today. Everton will also welcome Sheffield United. AFC Bournemouth versus Brentford. Bournemouth, we have Semenyo in there. Then we have Wolverhampton Wonders versus Crystal Palace. Andre Ayu will be, um, you know, Jordan Ayu will be playing for Crystal Palace. The Western United Luton, we have Kudus who will also be playing Forest Chelsea and that is it for today. Tomorrow we have Pate playing against Manchester United at 3.30pm. Then Aston Villa Liverpool. So these are all the fixtures for the EPL. So we'll be following all the Ghanaian players, not only in EPL but all the major leagues across the globe. We will be following the Ghanaian players who will be outstanding and perform well and bring you all their latest updates on this channel. So guys, these are some of the few updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Let me give shout out to you guys. You are doing amazing on this channel. Before I draw the curtain, shout outs going out to Redemption was Smith. Redemption, you are back. I've seen you are doing great on this channel. So Glomo, yes, thank you, So Glow. You've been away for too long, you know. You are back. Thank you. At last, 24 GH. Yes, you've also been out for a while now. Thank you for being back. Thank you. I've seen you. Then I have um Yusa. Yusa, your full name. Emmanuel Boatin is also back on this channel. Thank you. Emmanuel Foster Maunya is here. Terry Jima, you are also on this channel. I've seen you. Cassative. Yes, he's also doing amazing. Cassative. Thank you. KXNG2088. I call him Ken. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I've seen you. Fiaku Courage is also here. I appreciate you. Ikis233, you are also on this channel. MKO4PY. Thank you, MK. Um, for being here. Sami Lamte is also on this channel. Thank you. Sami says that he's confused. How many goalkeepers? No, Sami. I only spoke about 10 goalkeepers, but I selected three out of them. So, um, usually coaches call or they invite three goalkeepers in their team. Maximum sometimes four. So, yes, I decided to speak about all the 10 goalkeepers that I think possibly we will select the three out of them thank you um on that front thank you yes um sets um agbefia okay set segbefia um i beg your pardon set segbefia thank you i've seen you then i have brian um okay brian thank you senior okay i've seen you j gaming tv is also here um then i have kwame rujenfi on this channel swazi J, you are back i've seen you um then i have kin g tips thank you kin g um then i have okay amit jani on this channel paul mac paul thank you for being here paul face out thank you for being here face i've seen you israel gagba thank you israel i've seen you um rashid um balsen Thank you for being here, Rashid. Gwame Solomon in Trasib is here. Chris Hub is also here. Stefan DK is also here. Please be commenting always because the more I give you a shout out, the more I become conversant with your names so that I can give you... Immediately I see your name, I'll just mention it straightforward. You no. Know? Yes. So, Stanley GH is also here. Um, then I have Emmanuel Amani. Okay. Um, Suedu Abdullah is also on this channel. Bernada, thank you for being here. Prince Ahiale is also on this channel. Rashid, okay, I think I've mentioned. Mr. Vody is here. Terry Jima is here. King Dressa is here. Black Sheriff, new chapter. I've seen you. Nathaniel Diagram is here. Jason Grant, I've seen you. Isaac uh, Atrio, thank you, Isaac. I've seen you. Then I have Afei Foster on this channel. Trey David, you are also here. Unruly um, Canavan, thank you for being here. Unruly um, Saga Selassie is also on this channel. Isaac AJ. Thank you for being here. Too Loud Earpiece is back. Redemption was suspended. I think I've mentioned already. In my 8485 is here. And these are all the comments under the last video. As of the time, I'm recording this one. I need to be doing this, guys. You know, these things for you guys. Because always you are watching, liking, commenting, sharing the videos. Thank you for doing that. Don't forget to like if you have not. Subscribe if you are new. Put us on post notification. And we will meet in the next one. This was Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.